All right, next we're going to be looking at circles. So the definition of a circle is it's a set of all points that are equally distant from a point called the center. And that should be pretty familiar. So the equation that we're gonna start off looking at is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And the center of the circle is gonna be hk. And the radius of the circle is gonna be r. And the important thing to note here is that when you're graphing, here's my center hk, and then I have all the points that are equally distant from that going, oh gosh, that was a terrible circle, going all the way around, Ugh, pretend that was a nice circle. hk is not actually um, a point that makes the equation true. It's not actually a point that is technically graphed. So typically we would graph it because it would help us draw the rest of the circle, but it's not actually included in what the picture of the graph really should look like. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's say, uh, for example, we're doing a problem and they're asking us to find the center and the radius. So for example, find center and radius of um, x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 12y equals 10. So obviously this equation does not look anything that, like it should. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the x's from the y's and then we're going to complete the square to get it in the form that we like. So there's my x's. Uh, and then I've got my equal 10 over here. All right, so first I'm going to complete the square with the x's. So I've got 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1, and so that 1 goes up here. Since I added 1 to the left side of the equation, I'm going to go ahead and add 1 to the right side of the equation. And then I'll complete the square here. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 squared is 36. So I'm going to add that right here. And I'm going to add it to the right side of the equation as well. 36, not 37. Okay, so now for my x, I've got something in parentheses squared. And for my y's, I've got something in parentheses squared. And then I know overall it's going to equal 11 plus 36 is 47. All right, so for my x's, I'm going to have x plus 1. For my y's, I'm going to have y minus 6. And again, I know those numbers because whatever you got when you divided by 2, that's what goes in the parentheses squared. So there's the equation of my circle. So now if I want to know what the center is, it's this number and this number. So my center, and it's the opposite sign, so negative 1, positive 6. And then my radius, I know that this value here is r squared, and so my radius is going to be the square root of that. And you would simplify square root 47 if you could. All right, now let's say they needed us to graph this. And you can draw just draw a little sketch of this since you probably don't have graph paper with you right now. So here's the point, negative 1, 6 for the center. Uh, the square root of 47 is 6.9 approximately. So uh, what I'm gonna do well, I can't really go by sixes. I guess I won't be able to get the whole graph on here, but you'll get the idea. So I'm going to go six in all directions, six point nine in all directions. So three, six, almost seven. And then I can't do the part that's up because it goes off the screen. So then I'll just draw my circle around here. Do, do, do. And it goes up and it would continue and circle back around. And then um, it would be a good habit to get into when you're finished drawing your circle to erase the center since it is not technically part of the graph. But that's how you graph a circle. Draw the center first and then just go in all directions, whatever your radius is, and then you can connect everything. All right, there's another type of example 
um, that we're going to do of a question that would be common for them to ask you. So let's say they gave you the equation of a circle. whose diameter has the endpoints three five and six one. So uh, what we need to write the equation of our circle is we need the center of the circle and we need to figure out a way to know what r squared is so that we can have the equation equal that. So if we're thinking of a picture, we have a diameter, we have endpoints of our diameter. If we need to know what the center of that is, then that would be exactly in the middle of those two points. So if I want to find the middle of these two points, I need the middle of the x's and I need the middle of the y's. So to find the middle of the x's, I'm just going to take the x's together, 3 plus 6, and divide them by 2. And that's going to give me the x. So 9 divided by 2, you can write it as 9 halves or 4.5. And then I'm going to take the y's as well. So I've got 5 and 1. So 5 plus 1 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so I know that the center of my circle would be 9 halves, comma, 3. All right, now if I want to plug this into the formula, I'm going to have x minus 9 halves squared plus y minus 3 squared equals my r squared. And if I want to find the r squared, um, I need to plug a number in for my x and for my y. And the easiest thing to do would be go, to go back and get one of my points. So 3, 5, or 6, 1, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and use 3, 5 since that was the first one. So 3 minus 9 half squared, 5 minus 3 squared. Now this becomes a calculator problem. So I would just type that in my calculator as is, and what you're going to find is that um, if you type this in and hit equals, it's going to equal 6.25. So that means this is 6.25. And so now I can go ahead and write my equation out. So x minus 9 halves, um, technically we wouldn't really write it as 9 halves quite like that. We would actually want to make this a little bit more proper. I'm going to put the 9 right here, bring the 2 to the front. Okay, 2x minus 9 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 6.25, and there is the equation of my circle.